Hello everybody, hopefully you guys are all having a great day, night, weekend, whenever you're watching this. Uh, we're going to do some fun stuff today, we're going to be working on some board breaking techniques, we're going to work a little bit on the form, uh, and then a cool fun challenge kick towards the end. So, let's get rolling. Face front, Kenne Bell, Academy Tenants begin. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect. Sit, Kenne Bell. All right, Chumbi, let's go ahead and get 10 jumping jacks. Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then neck rotations going one way. And then the other way. Good. And then arm circles forward. Arm circles backwards and then across the body and you can do a little crisscross here then up and down good from there sitting stance reaching over the body side to side reach 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 going from one side to the other good Stretching out them obliques. All right, and twist side to side. Ooh, I get more balance here. Twist and side to side. Good. All right, legs straight, reaching out low side to side. Good. Good. Getting that chest down nice and low to one knee other knee. Good. All right, hands on the floor, hips side to side. Yeah, sound effects are not necessary, but highly recommended. Good. All right, and from there we're gonna hop up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna work a little bit on uh, some of our hand techniques for our board breaks. Uh, just to kind of, you know, the proper, uh, how we stand, how we execute the move, all that stuff there. So we're gonna get into our fighting stance. Hands are up, of course. My front arm for most of my hand techniques, okay? Is out like I'm giving somebody a fist bump. Again, this is used to kind of gauge distance so I know how far away I need to be from the board. My other arm, is either pulled back like a chicken wing for an elbow strike, is here on the side of my body, palm up for a palm strike, or close in the fist on my belt for a hammer fist, okay? Then front foot steps forward, okay? So I take a big step, kind of lunging into it, lunging into a front stance. Let me scoot back a little bit. So I'm here, big lunge, and then I either do my hammer fist, my palm strike, or my elbow. With that elbow specifically, making sure to turn not only my arm, you know, use my arm, but I'm also twisting my shoulders, my hips, getting my whole body involved. So, on our own, we're just gonna go for a couple seconds on one side, a couple seconds on the other side, uh, doing any of those three moves that you want. All right, really making them nice and strong, okay? Get ready, and Go for it. Aya! Make sure to add those yells in there. Good. And then palm strike. Aya! Aya! Hammer fist. Aya! Switch sides. Now we're gonna do the other side. So we're here. Big step. Getting that whole body involved in that movement. Boom. And from there. Aya. Count. Aya. Got a couple more seconds, guys. Awesome. From there, let's go and have a seat there on our feet. Seated ankle stretch. 
lowering that down a little bit. And then we just chill out, we hang out. Good, so as I'm recording this, it is board breaking week, so focusing in on our board breaking. Uh, board breaking stripes unlocked, as well as forms, as well as sparring, so three stripes are currently unlocked, plus your fifth stripe uh, for that paper. Good, roll your toes back, see the toe stretch, or um, if you're white or yellow belt, for your first class, or for your tenants, um, and so on and so forth. Good, and down for the cobra stretch here. Good. Again, really trying to get the knot of your belt down low, chest up high, arcing that back. Good, and push the movie back up, cat back. Good. If you want an extra forearm stretch, again, just twist, palms down, fingers pointing at you. Good. And then down for the back bow. Everything off the ground besides the knot of your belt. Skydiver stretch. Whee! Good. And roll around. Five bent leg, five straight leg back rollers. And go. One, two, three, four, five. And then from here, leg straight. One. Two, three, four, all right, last one, five. Then from there, reaching down low towards those toes as far as you can get them. Get that chest down, head down. If you can reach your toes, try and reach past them a little bit. Try and have your wrists go to your toes. Good. All right, next couple seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, keep one leg straight, bend the other leg, stretch down that straight leg. You gotta make sure to keep that other knee as far out as possible. Helps give you a, a better stretch. Good, slowly sinking down, sinking down. Good. Deep breath in, deep breath out. On the exhale, go a little bit deeper if you can. Good. Couple more seconds. One, two, three, four. Try to get a little lower. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch sides. Other side now. Same thing. Always making sure, again, even if you're not, uh, even when you're not doing these online classes, make sure you're stretching. That way you keep the flexibility you do have and you don't lose it, but also to help gain flexibility that you want to gain. All right, a couple more seconds here. Get a little bit lower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, one leg straight, one leg bent, spinal twist back behind you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, lay down on your back, pull one knee in your chest, which will be five or six seconds here. Again, keeping that other foot off the ground. And while we're stretching, hopefully you guys are having a good day, good, having a good time wherever you're at, whenever you're at. All right, again, I'm in the void of time. I can, you know, be whenever. Good, and keep switching. Good, pulling that knee nice and tight. Awesome. Then go ahead and sit up. Legs out wide into a V, as wide as you can get them. Again, making sure toes pointed up, knees, um, you know, knees are not bent, they're straight. Right here, hands behind your head. 
10 awesome side to side stretches and go. One, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, two, ten, two. All right, legs out a little bit wider if you can manage. All right, hands out. Again, drink, try and go as far as you can. Once you're as far as you can, try and just deep breath in, deep breath out. Try and go a little bit lower. Go from side to side. Use your feet to help pull you down. Good. Staying nice and low. And from there, bottoms feet together, butterfly stretch. Bada boom, bada bing. All right, and from there, we're gonna hop up, go ahead and get five more jumping jacks while I adjust the camera. Good. All right, so, like I said, we're focusing in on our board breaking, guys. So, the first move, if you have some sort of target, um, whether it be a rebreakable board, if you bought one from us, if you have a target pad, if you have a pillow, just something you can kind of make contact with um, that's not gonna break and shatter into a million pieces. So, as you guys know, I gotta bring out my handy dandy bag. All right, that's what I'm gonna be using. So, uh, let's see, hopefully you guys will be able to see. I'll adjust if I need to. So, round kicks. When I hit with a round kick, okay, I'm gonna angle this just a little bit lower. Perfect. So when I do a round kick for board breaking, I'm not hitting the top of my foot. Normally, I would hit the top of my foot where my shoelaces would be, okay? But what I'm doing instead, let's see, can you guys see? I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't think you can. Here. All right, so instead of hitting the top of my foot, I'm hitting with the ball of my foot. So like a front kick, I'm hitting the same part right underneath my toes with my round kick. So as my hands are up in my stance, I bring my knee around. Again, instead of the top of my foot, I'm pushing in to my target, okay? Now again, this tends to be tricky for some people, all right? Because again, the flexibility of their toes, they may not be able to pull them back as far. But the thing we gotta, um, kind of keep in mind when doing this is I don't need to be a full 180 degrees away. Okay, so if I'm standing like this and I try and do a round kick to the bag like this, okay, that's gonna be, you know, potentially possible depending on how flexible my toes are, but it's gonna be a lot harder. So I can be at this angle and still do the same thing, okay? So hands are up here, knee comes up, hitting the ball of my foot. All right, that's where my power comes from for board breaking. Obviously sparring, still hitting the top of my foot. Forms, doesn't matter either way. Okay, pointing my toes kind of look a little bit fancier. So I do that uh, preferably. But yeah, for board breaking, always hitting at the bottom of my foot. So we're gonna go ahead. Again, hopefully you have that target of some kind. If not, again, really try and just imagine something in the air. And again, just pulling your toes back. So not, let's see if. There you go. So I'm not pointing my toes like this, all right? When I do this kick, I'm flexing and my camera's falling. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? So again, instead of here, I'm pulling back, pulling my toes back, instead of pointing them like this, okay? Hopefully that helped, boom. So on your target, all right, we're gonna do one side. I'll tell you when to switch sides. Let's do it. There you go. Again, if you've not done this a whole lot before and you are making contact with something, again, don't go as hard as you can out the gate. All right, especially if you have something like a Wave Master or something at home. All right, because again, even if we're doing it correctly, you could still potentially snag a toe every now and then. All right, we just wanna be careful. All right, last one, best one. Hey! Good. 
All right, now we're gonna switch sides here. So other side, let me angle myself. All right, and go for it. Gotta make sure it's that back leg round kick for board breaking. It's just gonna be a lot easier to break uh, rather than front leg. Plus you have kind of momentum on your side. You're able to twist into it. There we go. Last one, best one, guys. All right, and time. All right, so now switching off of round kicks going into chops or knife hands, okay? And the reason why we're working on these today partially is because a lot of times we say front kick, side kicks. And then we say for hand techniques, palm strikes, elbow strikes, hammer fists. And if we don't specifically work on something, that just tends to be what you guys do for board breaking, okay? Which isn't wrong, especially green belt, orange belt. Um, you know, you're new to this, all right? You're trying to figure out what moves you like, what moves, you know, how to do certain moves, stuff like that, that's okay. As we get higher in rank though, we wanna try and kind of think outside the box, okay? I think, what have I not broken a board with, okay? At black belt, again, if you're not a black belt currently, my goal for you guys is by black belt, you've done as many things you can think of on a board, okay? Whether it be for testing or whether it be for fun in class, all right, again, just try and break every move, all right? Think, how can I break with that? How can I break with this? How can I break with that? So, we're gonna break with a chop, all right? Or practice how to break with a chop. So, here, I'm hugging that arm on my shoulder, other arm crossing on bottom. I'm slightly turning away from the board or from my target, okay? So, I'm here, I'm turning away. Then, I'm gonna turn back as I do, that's when I extend my arm, and I wanna make sure as I do it, I'm also rotating my wrist. So that wrist, boom. So if you might have heard us talk about this during forms, helps that chop look sharper for board breaking, actually does make it a stronger move. So we're here, I twist away, I twist back, and then I'm hitting here, okay? Making sure just the side of my hand so just right here along the pinky side. Again, don't get the wrist, don't catch any part of the arm. All right, um, again, we wanna just hit just that one part, okay? So same thing, I'll tell you when to switch sides, let's work on the side though. So we're here. Again, I'm also pulling this other arm back to kind of help um, just twist my body into position. So I'm here. Hey! All right, switch sides, other side. Big hug here. And again, same thing if you don't have a target. Again, really just try and do it in the air and freeze, okay? Right here, try and stop it fast, right here. So I'm going, boom, okay? Again, I can swing through it, and for boards, I would want to swing through it, but to practice that power the best that you can, just in the air, really work. Boom. Stopping it nice and strong. Okay? And then boom. Every now and then kind of slice through. Wow. All right. And time. All right. So we did some round kicks. We did some chops. Now we're going to work on a little bit of flexibility. So I'm going to scoop my bag back. How this is going to work is I'm going to hold on to something. It could be a wall. It could be, you know, a partner, whatever it is. Just you know, something I can hold on to, a chair, that's high enough, but I'm holding on. My toes, okay, are pointed at that top, or at that, at that object, okay? So, they're pointed at that object here that I'm holding on to. My other leg, I'm just lifting up five times, each time trying to get a little bit higher, keeping that leg straight as I go through. I'm gonna do it five times on one side, five times on the other side, and then we'll move on to some form work, all right? And go. It's one, two, three, four, five. Other side. All right. One, this is my bad side. Two, three, four, five. Nice. 
All right, let me just check the time. Perfect. All right, so I will BRB in just like five seconds to grab my commas. You guys grab your commas. Right. And then I have returned. Okay, so let me get my handy dandy bag out of the way. And here we go. So working through our form, again, with commas, okay? Uh, as we go through it with commas, again, making sure I'm holding it in the middle. I'm not holding it at the end, because again, if I do something really fast and do something kind of awesome, really powerful, like yay me, but then the comma flies out of my hand and it breaks my TV, and that's not fun. All right, that's expensive, we don't want that. So, your parents don't want that. So, from here, holding out in the middle, just like so. Next, okay, I wanna make sure when I'm doing my strikes, I'm not doing big slashes, all right? I'm doing small movement, I'm pushing it forward, and then using my wrist to flick the very end. Same thing with my chops, extend my arm, flick the very end. All right, let's go through section one. So I'm here, let's see, make sure I'm far enough away so you guys see me. So I'm here, commas go up above my head. I'm gonna drop down to my sitting stance. Aya! From here, right comma, forward strike, left comma, forward strike. My other comma's coming back to my side here. Then I'm gonna turn. Left comma hugs on top, low block, commas up, all right? My left, leg, my left leg is in front, so that left leg stays in front through this whole side, okay, until I turn. So commas up, left leg, skip, front kick, land, shot, punch. Let me adjust back into frame. So I did shot, punch. Okay, so chop with my left, punch with my right. Then I'm gonna turn, face the right wall, still in my front stance. Right arm this time hugs on top, low block, commas come up, skip front, land in my stance, shot, punch. And that is section one, okay? If you're a warrior student, and uh, that's a white through green belt, so white, yellow, orange, senior orange, green, senior green, that's your entire form, all right? Now, going through section two, all right, for those of you who have it, if you don't have section two, and you're one of those people I just said, just keep working on it by yourself. Uh, if you need to rewind the video a couple times, watch that part a couple times, all right, you may do so. All right, you have the power. From here, I just did shot punch. Left foot slides back behind me. So now I'm facing front. Right foot's in front, right arm high block. Okay, so it's above my head just like this. Left arm hugs on top, or right arm, my bad, hugs on top, low block. Then I'm gonna step back again. So now I'm gonna step back. Good. Left foot's in front, left arm does my high block. Left arm hugs on top, left arm does my low block. Then my left foot, so the one that's in front, steps forward, back arm punch. Then, Again, depending on our ranks, that determines what we're doing. So I'm going to go through uh, from lowest rank to highest rank. So everybody, back leg, front kick, skip front kick. From there, land, low chop. If you are a fusion, um, white through purple belt, or if you're a warrior, blue and purple belt, that's where you stop. Okay. From there, for my red and brown belts, okay, you guys are gonna add a jump front kick and black belts, okay? So back leg, front kick, skip front kick, jump front kick, land low chop. Black belts, you also have the option of a run jump side in case you don't wanna do so, uh, in case you don't wanna do those front kicks. Uh, same thing in section one. Instead of a normal skip front kick, you have skip double front, again, as an option, not a requirement. So that's section two, okay? Section three for warrior brown belts and above and uh, fusion impact blue and above. All right, let's go through that. So we just did our low chop towards the front, towards the back, okay? Blue and purple belts, okay? 
Uh, fusion impact, hop side, brown and red, hook or hop hook, black belt, hook rounds. Let me go through all three. So either hop side kick, hop hook kick, or hop hook kick, Ooh, round kick. Then after you've done your kick, we're gonna land hug, shot, elbow strike. Then we turn back towards the front. Same thing, same kick. All right, so I'm here. I'm gonna do that one more time. Then do the same kick I did before. Land shot, elbow strike. Then for black belts only, my right foot's gonna turn around behind me. Right comma, kind of hooking on like this, coming around and then punch, punch, wah, wah. And that's the form. All right, so again, hopefully that was helpful to you. Hopefully you're able to kind of um, learn a couple of those moves. I know it's a little weird doing it through the online classes, um, but hopefully we're doing the best we can here, all right? So, all right, you can go and put your commas away. We're gonna do a challenge kick here. We had a couple levels we're gonna do of that. And then we are out of here, guys. All right, or I'm out of here. You're probably still where you are. But this is called a jump split front kick, okay? So when I do a jump split front kick, that looks like this, okay? So the final level is I'm here, up, all right? That's what it looks like. Now, if you're thinking, oh my goodness, I don't know if I can do that, all right, that's okay. Again, like I said, with our board breaks, we gotta be challenging ourselves, all right? If we are a black belt and we are not trying to do crazy things every now and then, all right? Jump kicks, spin kicks, jump spin kicks, then we're not growing, okay? If we're not a black belt yet, we still wanna try and, you know, dabble in some of these things, all right? Challenge ourselves because again, you don't know what you can do unless you try it, all right? Or you don't know like, hey, that seemed like a scary move, but, I really love it now, okay? Stuff like that. So, level one, okay? Again, again, make sure, well, first make sure you have space where you're not gonna break stuff, okay? But then after that, level one, okay, is just again, from here, bringing one foot forward, stepping together, and then going front kick, front kick. That's level one, okay? Just really getting the motion of those front kicks. So again, doing it with me, we're gonna go for a couple seconds here. So I step, step, bring my feet together, left foot kicks, right foot kicks, okay? And then I kind of step back a little bit, I do it again. So I step, step, front kick, front kick. You gotta do it one more time, then we'll go to level two. So I step, step, front kick, front kick, all right? Level two, still doing the step. This time, before each front kick, I have to do a jump. When I jump, I have to bring my knees up. So I can't just jump like this. I can't do bunny hops, okay? So I'm here. I go step, step, jump, front kick. Jump, front kick, okay? If you have normal jump front kicks down, you may also do those instead, okay? So, I can do step, step, jump front kick on that side, then from there, jump front kick on that side, okay? So, trying that out, one of those two ways for level two, okay? Let's go for it. Just gonna step, step. There you go. All right, keep it going, guys. Keep it going. And one more time, one more time. And 
time. I'm tired already from doing that. <laughs> All right, level three, okay, is now you step, step, you jump. This time when you jump, you kick both feet out, okay? Again, as we do this, remember, I don't need to go super high. I don't need to kick super high, all right? So again, you see me, again, especially because, you know, video look, makes me look cooler. I look cooler on TV, all right? But I'm jumping up and you see me, I, at least I'm seeing it through my recording. Again, I'm like at the very top of the screen. That might look impressive, okay? But again, if I'm jumping here, I do my twin. My watch is talking to me. But if I do my jump split front kick sure here, that bit. okay. So if I do it that low, that's perfect. All right. Again, I don't need to do it super crazy high. I don't need to actually do the full splits because I can't do the full splits either. So that's what we're working on. We're gonna do this three times, best we can. Okay, and it's gonna make you feel a lot cooler doing it how we're doing it right now, how I'm doing it without target pads, because you can't miss anything from no pads. All right, so doing our best today, guys. All right, let's do it. So we're here, so we step, step, jump up and out. My left leg do not want to go for whatever reason. There we go. All right, last one, best one, big loud yell this time. All right, scare whoever you're jumping in front of. Aya! There you go. All right, see, nothing to it at all. All right, again. So, thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you guys for doing crazy things, crazy jump kicks. Um, challenge yourself a little bit. Again, board breaking. If you board break at testing, again, try to use a chop instead of an elbow. Try to do a round kick instead of a front kick. Try to just implement some of these things uh, into your you know, board breaking into, you know, that jump split front kick. Again, you know, that's a cool board break of itself. All right, just being able to have two boards there and just go boom. Um, yeah, that's what it is, guys. So, face me, strong bow. I'll see you guys. Hopefully you keep working on these moves. All right, you can show me next time and see you here on the mat. Bye, guys.